light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. So the first DIY is going to be with table mats. I used red table mat and made a quick and easy rug with it. This is how I arranged them. Now this is really large and I used it somewhere else in my home. But for today's video, I'll be working with blue table mats. And I connected all the mats with floor wire. Now this is really thin, so you can use either this one or a thicker floor wire. But because I'll be putting mine outside more, I'll be using the thicker floor wire. Now, if you're going to be using yours indoors a lot, it will be advisable to use the thinner floor wire because that's more comfortable for the feet. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done, I turned it over and then used a different shade of blue to touch up where the floral wires are just to make it look interesting. For the second DIY, I'll be using a small ice bucket. I'll be taking this out because I won't be needing it. And the link for this exact type is going to be in the description box below. I'll be making use of the design in the inside. I kept that aside and then I cut out the height that I need from a poster board. I glued that inside just to keep it in place and then I'll be decorating the outer corners of what I just made with silver plastic spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree. When I finished making this I realized it was kind of small so I made one that's wider. The next thing that I did was to take cement and then mix it with water. I made sure the mixture is watery so that it can go through each and every one of the designs that we have in the ice bucket. Now I poured it in at the sides carefully until it was filled. This became super strong after two hours. It took two hours for the cement to set because I used a watery consistency. I spray painted it gold and then decorated the upper part with more spoons. I 
I was going for a mini pineapple vase and this is close to it and you can put lighting inside or even flowers. And now for the third DIY, I'll be using a cardboard and drawing out a 10 inches circle on the inside. I then drew a line from the outer circle to the midpoint. And I'll be using a protractor and placing it in the middle and making a mark that's 73 degrees and then joining that mark with the midpoint on a line. And I'll be making four of these lines that are 73 degrees apart. I do have to apologize here for the math. I just want the design to come out accurate. I am so sorry for that. And you can definitely use a round shape object to make this design. And because I didn't have one that was gonna suit this pattern that I was making, I had to go through this process. Now, the next thing that I did was to measure 2.7 inches away from the outer circle. And I made a point there. And I repeated this for all five lines. The next step is to take a compass and place it on that point and then make an arc on the outer circle. Like I said before, you don't need to go through this process. All you need is just a round object that can actually fit to give you five circles inside this outer circle. I'm gonna cut this flower shape out and then cut out strips from a poster board that I'll be using around the edges. Because I wanted making sure that these points here are sharp, I'll be cutting little pieces from a craft stick to glue on there. I'm going to keep this aside. So what I'm making is a table slash plant stand. And for the legs, I'll be using these PVC pipes that I got from Home Depot. And I'll be cutting these pipes to the length that I need with my pipe cutter. And I'll leave a link for this cutter in the description box below. This is super easy to use. You just mark where you want to cut, open up the pipe cutter to the diameter of the pipe, place it there and lock it in tight and then begin to roll it and making sure at every roll it remains tight until it's cut. I'll be using the same cement that I used for the previous project for this one and I mixed it with water and the consistency here is thicker than the other one. I just took a bucket and placed the pattern that I made inside the bucket, filled it up halfway, and then I'll be putting the pipes inside to lean on the bucket for support and for them to be equally spaced. After it was dry, I took off the outer poster board and the cardboard that's at the top. I trimmed off the craft sticks at the bottom and then spray painted the whole thing white. 
What you see at the top here was formed because of the cardboard. Now I'll be using this blue metallic paint on this wooden rose that I got from Walmart. I'll be putting this in the middle of the table. I'll be covering the top with adhesive and grout. That comes two in one and I got it from Home Depot. And after I did that, I firmly pressed the rose in the middle. And then I used blue stones that I got from the Dollar Tree and pressed it all around the rose and spread them out around the design. After that, I covered the entire stones with grout and I used sponge that's soaked in water, squeezed out the water and spread it out evenly and at the same time cleaning off the top. I used my finger to add more grout at the sides to make sure that they too will be properly covered. I then later used paint around the edges of the rows and then because of the rough edges that I could still see there, I'm going to be using this diamond wrap, a single or strip from it to cover it up. I made two side tables with different heights. Now this is the first design and the second design I'll be using this at the top. I used blue for this DIY because one of the walls in my patio is blue. And I placed both side tables there, including the pineapple vase that I made. And they look so pretty there. These can also be used indoors. But remember that if you're going to use the rug more inside, you should use thinner floral wires to connect the mats. These are cute decor pieces that are not only stylish, but also super sturdy and can be used in different areas of the home. I'm going to use mine mainly outside because I used blue because of the blue wall. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.